Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now a fair memory comparison would be 8 gigs of dual channel memory versus 16 gigs of dual channel memory or two 4 gig modules compared to two 8 gig modules running at the same speed. That said people have often asked me if they could buy a single stick of RAM now and then upgrade later when they've got a bit more money saved up. Most of the time this concerns buying a single stick of 8 gigabytes and then adding another 8 gigabytes later on. So for a while they'd be using 8 gigs of RAM in single channel mode. I've always said yeah why not but I've often wondered just how gaming performance would be affected with just a single stick of DDR4 in a modern system. So, in what is a totally mismatched yet potentially realistic comparison, we'll be doing just that. Today we're comparing a single 8GB stick of 3200MHz DDR4 to two 8GB sticks in dual channel representing the upgrade you might do later down the line. Immediately I noticed that Cyberpunk 2077 with the high settings ran just fine with 8 gigs of RAM but I did notice a drop in the percentile figures at least on paper because it didn't feel too bad to play with just 8 gigs in the system. That said, adding another module would be a welcome addition to the PC and would add some much needed performance to the percentile lows. The average was fine both times around. Remember that your experience will differ depending on the specs you're using as well as the games you want to play. An AMD Ryzen based system might fare a lot worse with single channel memory for example. Deathloop didn't seem to care, at least not for the first couple of levels that I tested, despite the low memory warning. The average frame rate was almost the same, the 1% lows were identical and the 0.1% low was slightly lower but not really enough to actually notice during gameplay, not with the i3 and 3050 combo and the high preset. I bought this yesterday for my FSR 2.0 video and I'm having a blast. I definitely recommend it if you haven't played it, even if you've got a 12th gen i3 and single channel RAM. Elden Ring has a 60 FPS cap by default and with the dual channel 16 gigs in the system we hit that as an average. We dropped a couple of frames in the single channel 8 gig test but a lot of the time when you're moving between busier areas or just crossing the beautiful but very deadly landscape you'll see 60 FPS most of the time anyway even with just 8 gigs. The 1% low was a little worse with less RAM but the 0.1% low was actually a bit better, though in both tests I observed a little bit of stutter, which I tend to see anyway. Still, it doesn't really distract from this difficult but incredible game. Far Cry 6 felt a bit rougher to play with just 8 gigs in the system, but again, it wasn't unplayable by any means. There was one brief moment where I fired my flamethrower, and the game stuttered a little bit, but apart from that, the averages both times around were good, and the 1% lows were also respectable. As I said before, when or if you finally add in that extra stick of RAM to make it 16 gigs in dual channel, there will certainly be a moment of relief, I'm sure, at least if you're using similar specs. Forza Horizon 5 also demonstrated some big differences, and although the game still ran fine here, if we were using weaker hardware that was averaging say 60 with 16 gigs of memory, 8 gigs would mean that we would drop below the threshold that some would consider playable, the difference between achieving over 60 and not. Luckily our test setup here has enough graphical and processing power to hit over 100 FPS either way, but this won't be the case for everyone, so if you do start off with 8 gigs of RAM, and plan to add another 8 gigs later. Bear in mind that games like Forza may have you wishing for payday a little sooner than later. From what I've seen today though, if you build a modern Intel machine and think to yourself, oh I'll just put a single 8 gig stick of RAM in here now and add another one later on, then you won't have a terrible experience in the meantime, and in some games you might not even notice a change. That said, if you plan on only using 8 gigs long term because you're on a tighter budget for example, then buying two 4 gigabyte modules would be the sensible thing to do. That's all for this one then, I've wondered about this for a long time so I hope it's made for an interesting video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, leave a dislike if you didn't, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and hopefully I'll see all of you in the next one.